Hi there! My name is Rejuviman. This year, the People's Republic of China, PRC, aka the New China, celebrates its 70th birthday. Back in 1949, the gross domestic product of China was only 12.3 billion US dollars, making it one of the world's least developed countries. Today, China boasts a GDP of over 13.6 trillion US dollars and stands as one of the world's second largest economies. Let's count the zeros. One, two, wow, 11 zeros. That's equivalent to more than a thousand fold increase. So China must have done something quite right. What is it? Rejuva Man now wants to show you the open sesame to China's success. The best path is the one that works. What makes all the difference with the Communist Party of China, CPC, is the combination of Marxism with the practice of Chinese revolution and development. That's how Mao Zedong succeeded in finding the encircling the cities from the countryside approach to the Chinese revolution. That's how Deng Xiaoping succeeded in finding the path of socialism with Chinese characteristics. This pathfinding journey is known as adapting Marxism to the Chinese context. Likewise, Xi Jinping's thought on socialism with Chinese characteristics for a new era results from adapting Marxism to the Chinese context of the 21st century and thus holds the golden key to the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. Reform and opening up proves to be the key move that decides China's future. Over the past four decades of reform and opening up, the Chinese economy has been growing at a breathtaking pace. The achievements are tremendous. In the eyes of Chinese communists, reform and opening up has much to do with, first and foremost, the head. In the spirit of emancipating the mind and seeking truth from facts, the outdated mindset of conformism and seclusion needs to be reversed. Moreover, reform and opening up is by no means a once-off endeavor. In Xi Jinping's words, when we talk about reform and opening up, the only tense we use is present progressive instead of the perfect one. China is embracing a new era in which reform is being deepened comprehensively and opening up is being pursued on all fronts. As a party of long-term governance, the CPC can always find itself in a position to set development goals and formulate policies from a lasting perspective, which will be followed through with sustained efforts. This effectively averts the toss and turn of government decisions. The vision for China's development has remained coherent from the realization of the four modernizations in Mao Zedong era, to the Chinese path to modernization identified by Deng Xiaoping, to the goal of basically realizing socialist modernization by 2035 and building China into a great modern socialist country by 2050, enunciated by Xi Jinping. Clearly, promoting modernization has been the constant goal of the CPC. To accomplish this grand objective, China has seen the implementation of 13 consecutive five-year plans. The capacity to act is productive effect. The past century witnessed the successful launch of China's first missile, first atomic bomb, and first satellite, almost from nowhere. The hard-working spirit of the Chinese nation got the attention of the entire world. Xi Jinping identified innovation as the primary driving force behind development. Accordingly, the CPC has been pressing ahead with the development of all undertakings through innovation towards the goal of making China a country of innovators. Under such enabling circumstances, more and more people in China are joining the mainstay in promoting innovation-driven development with their intelligence and hard work as manifested in waves of mass innovation and entrepreneurship nationwide. Today, China is taking the lead in areas such as artificial intelligence, quantum technology, and 5G communications, which has drawn admiration and indeed envy from some other countries. 
There are still many other reasons behind China's success. However, Rejuve Man has to tell you that the gigantic vessel of China wouldn't have braved the wind and waves and sailed steadily without a capable helmsman, the leadership of the Communist Party of China. Making sustained efforts to modernize China's system and capacity for governance. Seven decades ago, the old China the CPC inherited was an impoverished country, both economically and culturally. Seven decades on, a brand new China stands tall and firm as a country of thriving prosperity.